Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back. So we're going to continue our uh, adventure in the lap book. And the first thing that I wanted to show you was when we made our little, um, you know, fold out thingy last time, there were several people that said, yeah, but what if things like fall through? I, I don't want it to fall through. And then somebody or a couple of people mentioned that Genevieve had made some kind of pocket on the back and I couldn't find it. I didn't have a whole lot of time, but I couldn't. She got a lot of videos. She got a lot of videos. So let me know if this is if this is what she did because I couldn't find it. But let me know. Maybe this is what she did or maybe this is like not even close. If it's not even close, well, I guess it's just another idea. <laughs> if it's the same thing, well, then it was hers to begin with. Okay, so what I did was, we're gonna pretend that this is our, you know, our paper, this this thing. And here is our, our little cover that's gonna go over that. And so I went ahead and I marked um, where that slice in the middle is gonna be. And what I thought I would do is, let me scoot that back a little bit. Let me grab my glue. And this is just, you know, this is just a mock-up to show you kind of what's going on. Oh, and if you hear a lot of noise, um, the city is uh, like trimming trees. So, well, they're not like trimming trees. They are trimming trees. <laughs> so... You may hear some noise, or maybe I'll get done before they get close enough. Okay, so we're just gonna pretend that that is where um, it's gonna go. I made it nice and big, so you could see what we were talking about, right? Now, let me grab this thing and go ahead and Punch the holes on either side, right? And I didn't punch that very straight, but it's okay. This is just a mock up. And then cut a slice on either side of that center line that we marked from one circle to the other circle. And I think I'm gonna make that a little bigger so you can see it a little better. Like I said, I did not, I did not punch that very straight. Okay. So there is our, our little card slot, Dumaflagi. So there's a couple of things you can do. <coughs> Excuse me. You can, um, I found this envelope. And so if you have some envelopes lying around, you could always tuck the flap in like this. And do you see how you've got like two levels? So you have this level back here, and then you have this lower level here. Um, what you can do is you can run a bead of glue along the top and then along this this lower edge here a little bit along the side and then if you want to glue down in here do that but I would stack them from the bottom up if you're going to be doing that so let's just let's just say that that's what we're going to be doing right so we're we're going to stack them from the bottom turn it over or don't turn it over however you want to do it. You know what? I think I'm going to do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. And you just want to center this, the slice. Oh, that's not straight either. You just want to center the little slice so that the glue will hold the top and the bottom so, do you see how now it makes a pocket? And then on the back it's all enclosed. Okay, does that make sense? If you don't have any envelopes that are the correct size, 
You could always take just a piece of paper that is you know, nearly the width that you need it and make sure that the, the paper is about twice as long as you want the pocket to be as deep. And you can just take this, go ahead and fold it up about, I don't know, depends on how big your pockets are. This is about, oh, sorry, this way, about three quarters of an inch lower than the top. And then you open it back up and you run a bead of glue along the side and along the top. And we're just gonna, ugh. we're just gonna close that up. And then you quickly just do another little bead of glue along the top of that other, that other level of, of let me see if I can get the camera to pick this up. So see that there's two levels of paper because they're it's not folded all the way to meet each other. So you have your pocket. So this would be glued on just like just like the envelope was, you know. So um, cheap, super cheap. Um, but if you have extra envelopes laying around, and you're like, I want to get rid of these. You could always you could always use them. You could cut them down even if they were too wide. You could cut them down. So anyway. So that's my little pocket idea. Um, like I said, if this is what Jen did, awesome. You just learned it again. <laughs> okay, for my next trick, we are going to, um, I'm going to, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna leave this alone right now. And we're just gonna do an element over here on this side. I'll go ahead and finish up these base elements. Does that sound like a good idea? So this is what I am going to do. I have picked out a couple of pieces of scrapbook paper, just 12 by 12. Let me scoot back a little. I think I'm a little close. Whew. Okay. All right. And I just picked out a couple. Um, these are not as heavy as, let, let's say, the Tim Holtz really thick cardstock. These are only one-sided and so this is not as hefty um, which is will be a little bit easier to work with but I didn't want something that was as thin as copy paper. I think that would be too um, flimsy. So I just kind of picked something in the middle and I picked out two as you can see. Um, I got this paper pad at um, Tuesday morning Oh, probably a couple of years ago. It's a DIY shop paper. So if you're, if somebody's going to ask, that's what it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice both of these exactly in half. So I'll be right back. Okay. Now we have four, four slices. Let me set this aside just for a moment. And what we're going to do is we are going to make a little accordion folder to fold out from that side. And so to kind of make it a little bit easier on you, I created a diagram so that um, you have a little bit of a visual to see what exactly it is I'm going to do. We're going to make a score line half an inch up from the bottom. So half an inch up from here. And then you can see on both sides I'm going to make three score lines, a half an inch in, and then another half an inch, and then another half an inch, and then on both sides. And then down here where, um, where these segment, this last one segments, these, the bottom score line, all these three get cut away and on both sides. So that, that's what I'm doing. So let me grab my skewer board. Do one so on the bottom and a half an inch from the bottom. Let me measure real quick. Let me make sure that this isn't going to be too long. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hmm, I might. I might trim these another half an inch. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I think those are gonna to be too tall for this particular lap book. So let me cut another 
half an inch off of this length here. Okay, I am back. So now we have the four pieces again, but these are like five and a half by 12 instead. But we're gonna do the same thing. I just didn't wanna make it a little too, um, I don't know, a little too tight in there. So half an inch from, from the bottom, score to line. Then I turn it this way and I'm gonna come in half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, and then over here, the same thing. And then I'm gonna cut away that bottom corner. Like that. And that's what I'm going to do to all of these. So exciting. All right, so now we have our four pieces and you can decide which one you want, you know, in the front. It doesn't really matter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that bottom score line, fold back on a couple of them. You could do, you could do all four of these, you know, different if you wanted. Or you could just do it out of, you know, craft card stock or, you know, something. Okay, so there's those. And then what we're going to do on the sides is we're going to, the one that's closest in, the one that's even with this little edge here, we're gonna fold that one back. And then the next one gets folded forward. And then the last one gets folded back again. So back, forward, and back. So then you have these little, these little M's on the side and then you have a bottom, bottom one too. I don't know if I'm gonna use all four of these. I haven't decided. I'm gonna get like three of them put together and see if that is enough. I don't want it to be too bulky. So, um, but we'll figure it out, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, grab some glue and pick out what it is that you want in front. I either want this one or this one, I think. Mm -mm -mm. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna take some glue and this is the uh, three-in-one beacon. And on whichever one's gonna be the front, I'm gonna run some glue on that bottom uh, flap that goes along the bottom edge. And then stack this one on top of it. And just line those up side to side. And then let's do number three, and I'm gonna hold off on number four just for, oops, just for a minute, just to make sure it's not too bulky. And line this one up. And if you want to let this part dry for a minute, that might be a good idea. Am I going to do that? Probably not. <laughs> okay. And then this is what you have. Let me 
<laughs> Maybe I'll use some paper clips. Like they're going to do anything, right? It's just to make me feel better. Maybe they won't fall apart. I guess I could use some little, these little guys. That might help. I'll use how, both. We'll do both. Okay, how's that? And then we take this one. We fold in those little side pieces, just like that. And if you want to take a, a binder clip or something and kind of hold it back just a little bit, you can. Might make it easier to, to fiddle with. And run some glue on this last flap that's folded in. Okay. Now, now I need to zoom in a little bit and stop shaking the camera. And I'm just gonna push these down and I'm gonna fold that back because I want I want those glued to the front side of the next one behind it. Not on the folds, just on the front half. Let me get this glued down and I'll show you. So there is our first accordion pocket. And then the next one, we do the same thing. So fold them in, just like such. And if you need to put a clip on them, go for it. Wherever you want a clip, just kind of holds them back just a tiny bit. And we glue. And we glue. this next piece down over the top. You will get glue all over the place. Yes, you will. Okay, take these off now, I bet. So now we have our second little pocket area. So this is what I need to decide. Fold these last ones back. Let's open this up. Like this. So I don't think I'm gonna need another um, another piece because I don't want it to be too bulky. So I think I'm going to stop there as far as there will be three because once this is glued on there will be one, two, and three. But before we do that, if there's anything that you want to do to these pockets now, it would be a good time to do it. Why does this now? I think these are nine inches. So I need like four and a half and about right in this area. I'm gonna mark, mark that. And then that way if I wanted to do a little. So, there's our little, our little thumb holes. Okay, so, for this bottom piece, 
this right here where we fold, we glued all these three bottom flaps together, remember? So what we need to do is this is going to get folded around the bottom of this. And because it is kind of stiff from glue, you kind of have to make it conform. <laughs> because it's going to want to be a little bit wider so that it will fit around. So I'm just going to kind of make this fold kind of a little bit bigger. So I just kind of bend it to give it just a little bit of more room to fold around the bottom of all of these little things that are that have been uh, the accordion sides. And at this point too, you can decide if you want like a backer because this could glue to the inside of your book as is, or because we have this one left over. Where's my scissors? I left them on the other table. Oh my goodness. So we could go ahead and just cut all the score lines off. even the bottom one. And then this can slide behind everything just like that. And it will get glued in. Oh, but this way. You don't want the pretty side glued to your book. So that can be glued in like that. So this is what I am going to, to do is do this. So I'm going to fold this down just a little bit because this is going to get glue on this bottom fold here. I will show you. You can either glue that or you could grab this and just glue the bottom edge of this as well. Let me, let me clip these out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. And fold that or slide this right in in there. My bone folder. So I'm just running my bone folder along this bottom edge just so that it'll it'll seat this piece of paper in there. Just like that. So now it's glued here and now we need to glue this and this, right? So instead of gluing the little the little accordions. I'm just going to glue just a bead along the side of this backer paper. Like that. And I'll just take the clips off and fold that down. Just like that. And now we have our little accordion folder that can go on the inside of our book. Mm -mm. Let's see how I mess here. Let's see how this is gonna look inside here. And it will get glued in probably more toward the bottom like this. And then when it closes up, then it'll just close in just like that. Okay. So I'm going to run a bead of glue, not on the fold on the bottom, but just on this back piece here that folded down and over. And then fold put some glue along the whole entire back. You don't want this coming 
apart. You don't want it coming loose from the book. So I, I mean, you could like leave it open and make it a little pocket in the back, but I don't know. I don't think I would. I think it might uh, weaken the integrity of the of the bond and you know, if it fell off and then we'd all be sad and you know, we don't want that to happen. Okay. So I'm just going to grab this and just center it wherever it is that I want it and hold that down. some little clippies. I love clips. Everything about them. So I will decorate this um, later. We can think about what to do because that will be the next thing now that I let me zoom back out again. Um, so with the next thing we can start adding the uh, whatever our pocket elements or design elements onto the top of these base pieces. And um, we can design those and decorate those and make them look all cute and stuff. Does that sound like a plan? So I hope you liked the little accordion folder insert. And if you don't want your accordion quite so deep, then don't do half inch score lines, only do like maybe three eighths, and then that way it would be a little bit shorter. Um, just depends on how big your book is and how much room you have in your little spine areas um, to be able to put stuff in. So that'll be relative according to however big your book is or whatever it is that you are putting that element into. So that's that, that's that for today. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed that little project and I will see you coming up um, ASAP for part seven. All right, guys. See you in the next video.